Hello and welcome back. If you've been following along at this point, you should have written two applications. Yes, that's right. If you have absolutely no programming skills, we have asked that you please follow along with first our console application, the Hyperion project, and second our Windows application, the bouncy button application or something like that. Yeah. And uh, at this point, if you have followed along and you've got all of your code to work just perfect and compile and been able to play your own games or watch your button bounce around your window, then believe it or not, you have got some experience under your belt. And this is what we were looking for before we really got started with this course. So if you have not done that at this time, I ask you to please back back up and go through both of those programs. This is very important. We are not looking for you to understand everything we're doing. We are just looking for you to actually get in there and get your hands dirty and create something. Now, if you've done that, it's time to get started with an introduction to programming with C Sharp. That's right. Here we go. The first thing I'd like to do in this next section of videos is cover some general programming terms. You just can't join a forum these days on the internet or hang around with your buddy and start talking about programming without some very common programming terms being thrown around. Such things as source code, compiling, functions, variables, data types, garbage collection, etc. These are really becoming common terms, wouldn't you say, Logan? And some of those more so and more so as .NET itself advances. I agree. So we're just going to give you a quick overview. Now, are we looking for you to walk away from that lesson with a complete understanding of what variables are? No. General understanding? Yeah. I'd like to be able to say, we're going to use a variable and you guys have an idea of what we're going to do. Now, of course, we're going to have all of our variables lessons and we're going to get very specific. But as we continue to build in this course, these things are going to be drilled further and further into your head. Next, we're going to talk about what exactly C Sharp is. Everybody knows it's a programming language. At least you should by this point. But we're going to talk just a little bit more specific as for why it was created and what it's for. Moving on from there, we're going to talk about a basic overview of .NET. Because understanding what C Sharp is forces us into a position where we have to talk about .NET because of the heavy relationships between the two. From there, we're going to move over to the anatomy of a simple program. That's right. We're going to do yet another Hello World app, but this time we're not going to do it in Visual Studio 2005. We are going to jump out to a command prompt, and we're going to use a simple text editor to create our application. We're going to talk about the structure of it, and then we're going to compile it, and we're going to execute it, and we're going to do all of this without actually being inside of Windows. And this will help us give you a very generalized overview of what's going on when a program's created. And Logan, I believe you said earlier when we were talking about these lessons, you said it kind of takes all the magic away so that they don't think it's, well, all this Visual Studio stuff that's making it possible. Right. You'll be able to see things that are outlined when we talk about a language and then a compiler and then some more terms. You'll be able to see those terms as individual things, as in you'll be able to see an individual source file get handed to a specific compiler and an output be produced from that simple action. Precisely. Now, of course, we're not going to be using a generic text editor for writing all of our programs. That would just, well, that would just be a monster. It would defeat the purpose of having Visual Studio. That's a fact. So the next lesson will take us into Visual Studio 2005 Express. We're going to be talking about the IDE. We're going to give you guys a simple tour around the IDE. We're going to recreate that very simple Hello World program, and we're going to show you some of the IDE's tools in action as we're working with that simple program. And then finally, we're going to wrap this section up with compiling and execution. We're going to give you an overview of what is happening under the hood after you have written your source files and you have said, build this solution. What actually happens? And then when you execute it, once again, what happens? How does .NET come into this and play its part and get that application running on whatever your end target ends up being? So that is the goal of this section of videos, just to provide you with an introduction to programming with C Sharp. It's kind of the big picture. So with that, let's go and get started.